Greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans. Turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 14 and verse 5. One man considers one day more sacred than another, and the other man considers every day alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. Apostle Paul is now talking about days. What a practical uh, book the Bible is. Because these were the disputes that were existing in the early church. Because the Jews... Uh, you know, give preference to Sabbath, that is Saturdays, and the early church were gathering on the Lord's Day, that is on Sundays. And in Gentiles, they had their own holidays, their own days of convenience, or their own religious days. And so there was also a dispute about which day was uh, considered sacred, or which day was considered a day where they could uh, they, they, they had to give preference to the Lord as if that was his day. And uh, uh, he continues and he says that one man considers one day as more sacred than another. Another man considers every day alike. It's, it's like he's comparing food. Somebody says certain foods. Somebody says all foods. Oh, what a liberty. Apostle Paul was not bent on saying that it's only a Sunday. No. Or it's only a Saturday. No. There is liberty here. There is freedom here. And we ought to uh, very easily accept others saying that this is an opinion. You might have your opinion and I might have my own opinion opinion and both can be true because there is no definite set mark in scripture so uh, each one should be convinced in his own mind but then this doesn't mean that you need to be loosely uh, carried away by every wind of teaching no you need to be convinced for your own self you need to be accommodating others. At the same time, you need to be convinced about your own self. So when we come to the Bible, especially about non-essential doctrines like eschatology or uh, uh, like uh, uh, homiletics and uh, so many other uh, varied uh, studies of uh, theology, we have to recognize that there can be people who totally contradict in their thinking, yet both can accept each other because we can say that we are different in opinions, that's all. So Paul and Barnabas totally disagreed over the fellowship or over the uh, taking of John Mark and they had such a sharp dispute that they couldn't get along together. But yet, they did not reject each other. They said, Paul, your opinion is right for you and my opinion is right for me, said Barnabas. And so both of them went in their own direction. But at the end, we see both of them united together in the person of John Mark. So... We ought to recognize that we should have liberty. We should be, we should have a broad mind and a wide heart and very, very steady theology to be able to know whom to accept. Many a times we reject people over trivial issues that affects eternity. Food and stomach, days, times, all these are going to be burnt off one day. It's your soul that's going to remain forever. Never hurt the soul for something that is trivial, that is not really very important. You know, if you consider it a, be convinced about it, but don't impose it upon others. Loving, loving, gracious Heavenly Father, help us to understand the wideness of your grace and the variety of your plan and know that you do things beautiful in your own time. That everything is orchestrated so beautifully as you have planned. 
and help us to submit to your to that plan of yours. Jesus wonderful precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you.